This is Twit. Now, Let's Encrypt has had a significant impact on the internet by allowing pages who couldn't usually afford to secure their sites with TLS encryption can now do so for free. In fact, there's stats showing that almost 80% or more of page loads these days are actually encrypted with Let's Encrypt. But there's still a tons of other hurdles we have to get over in order to plug those holes in the internet infrastructure, like DNS. Now, the system that looks up your site's IP address when that when the type of site's name and when you actually type your site's name into a browser, it remains unprotected by encryption. Now, this means that anyone along the path from your internet to your DNS resolver can actually collect information about which sites you visit. Now, this means that even eavesdroppers can still profile your online activity and make a list of sites you visited or a list of who visits a particular site. Now, malicious DNS resolvers or on-path routers can also tamper with your DNS requests, blocking you from accessing sites or even routing you to fake versions of the site you requested. Now, you're probably remembering the discussion we had way back about DNS over HTTPS and how Google plans to test DNS over HTTPS and its Chrome 78 canary builds. Now, along with technologies like TLS 1.3 and encrypted SNI, actually will help with privacy issues, but there's still some major hurdles to get over. Now, for instance, many internet service providers and participants in the standardization process have expressed strong concerns about the development of the protocol. ISPs are also concerned that DOH will com complicate the use of captive portals. Now, some countries like the UK use DNS to police what sites people can surf, and this can actually cripple their efforts. Now, members of civil society have also expressed concerns over plans for browsers to automatically use specific DNA DNS resolvers, overriding the resolver configured by the operating system. Now, for this movement to work, DOH must focus on the rights of the user. In fact, browsers must be transparent about who will gain access to DNS request data and give users an opportunity to choose their own resolver. Now, ISPs and other operators of public uh, public light should implement support for encrypted DNS to help preserve a decentralized system in which users have more choices of whom they rely on for various services. So basically, we're saying that there is a long road ahead and you better be ready for a DOH marathon rather than a sprint.